love, love, love uh, VR. Woo! I think this is good. Oh! So when I was contacted by a London startup called TG Zero and asked if I'd like to have a play with their new ET finger tracking controllers, I pulled the hand off. See what I did there with the hand to finger tracking controller? Pulling the hand off? Yeah. All right, let's move on. First up, this is a paid partnership between me and TG Zero to help them try and get their message out. But my reaction to their controllers and my thoughts on their technology are heartfelt and my own. Okay, so first of all, the controllers that I've got here in my workshop are first stage prototypes. So it's important that you realize that the controllers that are rolled out uh, eventually to Kickstarter backers will have a number of improvements that these two that I've been using don't benefit from. One of those key differences is the inclusion of a bespoke lightweight replacement for the Vive trackers on these dev units. Another change will be here on the LED button, which I'm told will be split into two buttons. But buttons is really not where I should be starting with this review because the whole concept of ET is their buttonless design. ET features a seamless rubbery tactile surface that is able to sense all five fingers using extremely precise proximity and pressure sensing. They just feel, they just feel really good. They feel absolutely secure, like they're not gonna go anywhere. And there's a lovely tactile quality to them. The texture is very reassuring. The response is very obvious and very reassuring. One of the things that you really need to understand about these ET controllers is how light they are. They are remarkably light um, and allied with these kind of knuckle dusters that keep them in place. It's almost like you're not holding anything. And that's a big contrast compared to most of the controllers I've used before these. And the result is a controller that recognizes all kinds of gestures from pointing to pinching and squeezing. And of course there are programmable options for a whole lot more. There is a sense of going for the trigger button because of my previous experience on other controllers, when in actual fact the trigger button on the ET controllers is just the movement of your index finger. But like a lot of the gestures and movements on these controllers, it does become quite intuitive quite quickly. There's no getting away from it, they are different. The idea that granular levels of force sensing in a squeeze motion can produce unique grades of interaction in software is quite unusual. And to a certain extent, that capability has a long way to go until it becomes a function in most software. But what I related to immediately the first time I used ET is that they are different. They offer the potential for much more precise interactions with a wide range of VR objects. Having spent a little bit of time with TG Zero down at their London HQ, I did get a genuine sense that they're quite motivated about bringing VR to more people and making it more accessible and inclusive and growing a community around some really interesting technology. So those are a few of my thoughts on using the ET controllers, but it occurred to me that it might be an idea to get the reaction of a friend of mine who has a lot of experience using every controller out there and interacting with complex VR software on a daily basis. This is VR Rosie, a virtual reality artist who travels all over the globe, creating amazing interactive VR art installations. It's gone like a yellow. So they've, they've now connected to the base stations. Oh God, no, it vibrated them as well. Wow. Oh yeah, the tactile feedback. Yeah. It's the perfect fit in your hand. They've already done the research there. I like how your finger slides in and you can just hold them without gripping now. You can just work freely and then touch it when you need to touch it. You don't have to be constantly holding them. I'm super excited to see this in the virtual space now. These are a game changer in the VR world. Super sleek, beautifully, beautifully minimal. And the fact that there's no buttons, it's just something completely new that I've never seen before.
you're more you're more free to use and manipulate the controller how you want rather than having to conform to a gun-like sort of grip. Rosie, that is amazing. That's just amazing. Look at the night sky. It's just stunning. You just don't even know they're there. They've really got that fantastic grip, which all the other controllers lack. These are just perfectly made for your hands. Six hour battery life. That's insane, especially for events which I run, for VR events. Um, we're constantly having to charge up Vive controllers, but with these, we can just leave them running for the whole day. God, these are just so cool. To find out more about the various ET packages available on Kickstarter, check the link in the description.